Welcome back YouTube to another video from the Arachnid Room. Past few days I went to the Reptile Expo, the Repticon in South Haven, Mississippi, and I got two new additional um, arachnids, one being a flat rock scorpion and one being the Baja Bahia Gray Bird Eater. I'm not sure how to say that first word, but tonight we're gonna do a feeding video and hopefully we can get some feedings in. Okay, so as you know, I already have a green bottle blue. Uh, the two new additions was the flat rock scorpion, which is currently in its hide right now. Over there, I made a little cave. And here is the bird eater. Lav fed her last night, and she took it pretty quick. So hopefully she does tonight. I'm not sure she'll eat two nights in a row. So All right, let's see if we can get some action out of the GBB. Well, that green bottle blue just molted two weeks ago and it still hasn't ate anything. I've tried every couple of days to see if it would take anything. I tried a soup worm and still wouldn't take it and that doobie roach may be too big, I'm not sure. But I don't know if it's fasting or if it just doesn't want to eat. Now we're gonna try and feed the gray uh, bird eater. I can't remember the scientific name, let me look it up real quick. Where's it at? It knows I'm about to open it. It's so weird. Oh, I've noticed the spider skittish and it's going toward the back every time I open it up. Every now and then I can open it and it'll stay where it was, but if you move a little too much, it takes off. Oh, don't dig in the dirt. Come on now. <laughs> the road is directly under it. Here, we'll give it another one. And hopefully this one doesn't decide to dig down in the dirt. There we go. A great eater. I fed it last night about the same time and it the exact same reaction. And I've read up a lot of stuff. Apparently these spiders do eat a lot unless they're in pre-molt. About the only times they don't eat is if they're in pre-molt. Look at that. See if we can wait for a happy dance. Looks like it's going to get some privacy. Look at that. I think it feels the other roach moving. All right, the other roach bear down. We're gonna close her up and let her eat. I'm gonna try to get the scorpion out and see if it'll eat. I tried to feed it yesterday and it also had a cricket in its enclosure at the expo and it hadn't eaten that. So I don't have a lot of experience of, uh, with scorpions. Like I asked the guy what the best for a beginner would be and he said the, the flat rock and I read up on it. I didn't see a whole lot about feeding other than uh, pretty much eat what spiders will. So we're gonna try to get him out of his hide I built him a little cave right there. I just took some rocks. He's in there somewhere. 
I took some rocks and stacked them up on side by side and put a leaf over the top and covered it with some dirt and he's he seems to like it so hopefully I can find some slate or something you know people said that they like hiding in those uh real small crevices so I'll look around and see if I can find that but right now we're gonna see if we can get it to eat Scorpion's not going to eat, as you can see I lifted the leaf up and I was trying to see uh, if he would grab the roach from the tweezers but all he would do is attack the tweezers so hopefully the next couple of days I can get him to feed and I can upload a video of that. We got a happy dance. So what this is when they do that is they're covering the ground to prepare their food. That way they don't get dirt and other things. And it also keeps insects from coming up like ants and other small insects from coming up and stealing their food from them. So that's why they whip the ground up like that. But a lot of keepers and hobbyists call it the happy dance because it's like they're dancing because they're happy they got their food. weird I just realized I was looking down there and it looks like she actually dropped the roach in the middle of doing her happy dance and there it is right there beside her leg so right now she's over here uh, where the roach went under the leaf and she put her roach other roach down so I believe she's trying to get that other roach now she's going back for this other one Alrighty, it's current day. Uh, my chromatopelmus cyanopubescence is finally out. It has been hiding under a leaf. I'm not sure why it's been so afraid to come out. But you know, as yesterday, I tried to feed it and didn't eat, so we're going to try again and maybe we'll get some action. I noticed that it's really starting to web up its enclosure a lot more. I guess it's because it molted. It seems that since it molted, it's starting to stay on the ground. You know, before it molted, it was so small that all it did was web up the top and stay up top. So maybe since it's getting a little bigger, it's going to stay on the ground. All right, so I'm going to try to grab me a dubia, one a little smaller, hopefully. Let's see. Got to focus. Come on, focus. Still nothing. I'm not really sure why it's not taking any food. You know, it could be on a fast, 
you just never really know. And that leaf, that leaf right there is what it is webbed up and it keeps hiding under. See all that web around it? So I guess that's just kind of where it set up shop and that's where it's staying until it gets hungry. I'm going to keep trying to feed it every day and hopefully I can get something. And we're just going to leave it alone and let it chill out. You know, I have not figured out what it is about an outro. Either the new mic I got isn't turned on or it just doesn't sound right. The entire time I uh, did the feeding for my uh, chromatopoeba cyanope besants, I didn't have a new mic on and I wanted to see if how big of a difference it made. So uh, I redid the outro because it was blurry anyways, the camera didn't focus. That's really annoying. Um, but anyways, it didn't eat again. I'm not really sure why. I'm hoping that, you know, it's just on a fast. You never know with um, tarantulas. You know, you got my tea over here. The Lassiodora eats every time I throw something in there. It may eat two if I throw two in there. And you got the Chromatopelma cyanopubescence. Cyanopubescence. That's not eating at all right now. And I've heard a lot of people say that those are aggressive eaters, so I'm not sure why. But, you know, there's nothing I can do about it. Anyways, thanks for watching, guys. I hope you enjoyed it. Hit that like button, subscribe, and uh, I'll see you later.